Hola, reyes y reinas. Hi, kings and queens. I pray that you're having many, many prosperous days um, as 2019 is ending. I deactivated my account for a while because I just wanted to really, really, really um, be disconnected pretty much. Um, however, I'll make a video more depth on that. But uh, God revealed to me today to make a video on... Um, so I had a question that was asked to me and they asked me, you know how do you know like how do you see god or how do you know like like how how is it like if you were to see god or how do you think you see god and you know the only thing that i could say was i was like you know i honestly believe that when someone smiles when someone extends kindness or someone goes above and beyond to serve you or just do something extremely kind for you or compassionate or somehow serve and make your life easier i seriously see god in those people and um I had a, a recent experience where I um, I got a part-time um, career and it's like part, part, part-time and God laid, you know, an opportunity for me, you know, he presented an opportunity for me and I took full advantage of it and I'm learning so much by it and I will share it um, at a later time when God gives me permission to do so. However, um, I have like a scheduled shift which i haven't had like a scheduled shift in many many years i don't want to get off subject but in the process i didn't pack lunch i didn't even eat breakfast and um i was really really like hungry for some type of a snack or a meal but as i was in my shift you know i was helping and, and you know just um doing stuff that i'm supposed to be doing and this um older mature gentleman um he was a way older uh senior you know he just passed me like a little package and i was like you know guess that's still you know and because he spoke spanish and he's like galletas and i was like oh my god i said muchas gracias i said um you know i i was telling him thank you and that i was very very hungry because i didn't pack lunch and um he was like oh see you know here and he gave me these little protein crackers and the cookies and some cookies to give to another person that was uh, working beside me. And I was just thinking like that right there. I, you know, I shared that. I was like how I was hungry and um, I didn't even like lift it up in prayer or anything, but God knew. And, and that's what I'm saying. That, that gentleman, that older mature gentleman, senior that gave me the cookies. How did he know? He had cookies that he had packed, he said, and he just gives them out. And it's like, I didn't even speak it off the words of my mouth. I don't even know if it was a desire of my heart or just a need of some type of food because I was hungry. And for him to offer me that snack, that to me was God. Because I didn't say it. I didn't, I mean, I thought it and um, my body probably needed it. But he gave me that. And that's how I want you to know that if you are looking for God or you're trying to seek God and you want to see him in the physical or feel him in the in the spiritual you know, he's there everywhere that you go. In the physical, he will present um, opportunities to you. He will present people that will fulfill the desires of your heart, even the needs you don't even know you need yet. That how That's how real God is. And I just pray that this somehow blesses your life and that you recognize, you know, the people that are being Christ-like and the people that are being God in the physical. You know, never take them for granted. Appreciate them. I realize that you know, there's many things that we take for granted and that we don't appreciate things as much until they're gone. And when they're gone, you know, you really realize it. But what's important to me is that I've always asked God to help me to acknowledge and recognize and appreciate everyone around me and that I never want to take anyone for granted. And that if he's going to bless me with anything that's going to take away my appreciation, I don't want it. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you have much revelation, insight, clarity, wisdom, and knowledge beyond your years of age and have much, much gratitude to have the attitude of gratitude. Uh, may you all be blessed. Thank you so much for your support and watching my videos and sharing where God lays for you to share. Thank you so much for your obedience. It really blesses my life and I pray that my transparency blesses y'all and just recognize the Jesuses around you, the people that love you, appreciate you, and they can be complete strangers that just give you something and it's something that you were needing. It's not even something that you thought you needed or you spoke off the words of your mouth. But just because you, when you got it, you're like, wow, I didn't even know that, you know, somebody knew I needed that. God knows. Thank God that he knows everything. And he knows the beginning, the end, the middle. He knows what you're desiring. He knows what you need. He knows why you're crying. He knows why, you know, 
you have been experiencing pain, there's great purpose in it. And I pray that you turn it all around and know that there's much purpose in your pain and you bless others as God blesses you, whether that's with health, whether that's with being able to move your body, whether um, healing, if it's a smile, word of encouragement, some type of serving um, someone else, even. This is the one thing I realized how when God is speaking to me, it's like, he asks me to do something or he commands for me to do something and it's like I really really don't want to do it there's much resistance but then when I turn on and I do it even though I don't want to you know I realize the person will tell me oh my god how did you know I needed that you know this is and I'm just like thank you Lord for the opportunity so whatever it is that you feel great resistance in I can guarantee you that's God calling you to do something he's calling you to bless someone's life and just the way you have needs he will put that into someone else and if they're obedient to serve you you know, just be, be obedient to serve others. Extend grace as God extends grace to us. Forgive where he calls us to forgive. Is it easy? No. God, no, it's not easy forgiving and extending grace at times. I can guarantee you that. But I do, however, promise you that God knows what you're doing. He knows your heart. He knows where you've been wronged. And he knows where he's just there to reward us. And the greatest gift of all that I must say is that when I'm serving someone else, it's to know and recognize that the Holy Presence, the Holy Spirit's presence is there. Even today, as I was talking with um, some of my coworkers, I was just like, wow, you know, like talking with them out and they were like, oh, you know, I really love my job and you know, this and this, and this. And I was like, I feel the spirit of the Holy, Pre the Holy Spirit here. And just where we were there, t you know, talking and chatting, I could feel the Holy Spirit. And I was like, thank you, Lord, you know, for putting me exactly where I am right now. I don't understand your will, but I am obedient to it. And I'm always um, walking in faith. So just know that whatever it is that you're going through right now, this too shall pass. Everything passes. I'm not going to say that you're always going to be excited and encouraged throughout it. No, but just recognize that when it passes, God's Holy Spirit is always there with you. So bendiciones para todos. And I pray that my life transparency somehow blesses your life. Remember this too shall pass. God is at work now. He was at work yesterday and he's at work in the future. Bendiciones para todos.